Good evening, friendos. It's time for a quest for semi-rando uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past Randomizers tonight. I have to admit, right from the start, I'm a little tired and a bit out of it, so we might only be doing one seed. Might just be doing the one tonight, but we'll see how we feel. We'll see how we feel, like, midway through this one. And also, it appears that uh, LiveSplit fixed the average, the average segments for their web version, so we're going to compare against averages, not a PBs, because that seems to make more sense for randos. But anyways, let's, let's get this going. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. What do we got? First chest, what do we got? It's a three hundo. Ooh. Big ol' three hundo. That's not bad to get right at the start. Money for bottle vendor, money to buy bombs should we need to. Easy fucking peasy. Excuse me. <laughs> Don't mind me. Don't mind me. What the pocket change drop of the blue guard? What about tree pull? Whoa! Fucking explosive tree pull there. Alright. That's that's a real good start. <laughs> that's a real good start there. My goodness. Everything's coming up Millhouse right away. What's Uncle got? More bombs! <laughs> Uncle, you're a little bit too late. We just got a lot of bombs out the tree. Excuse me, fucko. Um, excuse me. What about here? Oh, bomb cap. Alright, well that might have been okay then. <laughs> Should have gotten that first, oh well. Alright, so big money, big bombs. That's what we got so far. Oh, small ass key in the church. Alright, well, fucking worthless, but hey, that's what happens sometimes. Out we go into the wide, wild world of Hyrule. Let's see what we can find, see what we can see. What do we got for crystals around here? All the crystals in the light world, my goodness. Eastern is a 5 6 -er. That means there will be three pendants in Dark World. So, dealer's choice as to which ones those are going to be. And hopefully we can skip all three of them, but you never can tell. Never can tell sometimes what you're going to be able to skip and what you're not going to be able to skip. There's some small magic from the crab. Crab magic. We got on Lumberjack Ledge another three hundo. Wow, getting the cash out the way early. So while we're kind of walking through the first segments here, let's take a look at our averages. 30 minutes to Crystal 1, huh? Roughly there are boots. It's not too bad, I guess. 47, buck 02, buck 12. Wow, the, the middle crystals are really, on average, smashed together quite handily. I guess since we tend to do a big item sweep before we go for a bunch of crystals, that makes a lot of sense that they would be together. Nothing but pieces of candy in the Lost Woods today. There's two of them. That's all right. Pretty pretty standard routing at the start, just because we uh, we got all the gear to do it. We got bombs. We got money. Ain't nothing else you could possibly ask for, really. I mean, at this point. Although we're coming up on a big item cache that is Kakariko Village. Would not say no to a weapon of some sort. Fire rod, hammer, hook shot, sword, the lamp, power glove, the boots. Any and all things good, please. First look at blind set here. Another piece of candy. The shovel, interesting, okay. Big old heart container. And another piece of candy, all right, well. Our sweet tooth is getting satisfied 100% here. And a bomb cap. All right, well, not really great, but I guess it's something. Means we can check dig spot on our way out the village here. But another five in the well, so let's see what we can get. Another fitty. Another fitty roops. 
And another 300 rupees. Wow, that is the quickest Zora money I have ever seen. Another fiver. Another big old 20. And oh, blue mail. All right. Okay, well, we got lots of value in the in the well today. Mostly in the form of rupees. But hey, some blue mail is good enough. Bomb cap from Bottle Vendor, so whatever. Actually might buy some more bombs on the way out of town. So we can hit Mini Moldorm Cave real quick, like... Chicken throw? Nice! Get clipped in that wall, chicken. Idiot. Power Glove in the Chicken Hut. My goodness. Back room of KFC with the value. No bottle, though, so no sick kid. At least not right away. Big old 20 in the back of the bar. Slow night last night, apparently. Alright, let's see. Let's, let's go buy another pack of bombs, just because... We got the money for it, and even after buying this, we'll have plenty for Zora. So here's hoping that we find maybe some early flippers so we can go do Zora right away and take care of everything. You never quite know what you're gonna find. That's the beauty of the rando. The beauty and the curse of the rando. What about Library? Library's just got the bombs. Nothing of value there. What about the race game? Eh? Eh? Oh, the lamp at race game. Interesting. That makes uh, front side of Death Mountain and Escape and all that a viable play. Real viable play early on, without having to worry too much about it. Oh, is that going to be close enough? Oh, just barely. Interesting. It's not often that I find the race game has, uh, has value. But hey, whatever. I, I ain't gonna sneeze at that. Sometimes a uh, lamp can be a pretty late find. Have this trash. Hey, man, don't be insulting the lamp like that. That is some good value there. Alright, so we'll check Dig Spot, and then I think we'll just head straight to the... Straight to the dam, no S&Q, because it's probably just faster to walk there at this point. Maybe. Actually, no? I'm not quite sure. Uh, excuse me. Just want to go to the forest, thank you. Uh, bleh. Big spot has arrow cap. Boo! What a waste. Alright, well, technically we could do front side escape and get the dark chest if we needed to, but I'd really like a weapon. I would really like a weapon before we go do something like that. Any sort of weapon. I mean, bombs are all well and good, but not the most reliable. Big ol' heart container there, okay, whatever. Exactly what I'd be looking for here, but hey. A little extra life ain't, ain't hurt you none. Outside, under the water. Hey, there we go. Sword's probably a bit rusty, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Excellent. We had plenty of bombs for Mini Moldorm Cave, even without the sword, so that was all right, but... Nice, good, pretty early sword. Eight and change. Eight minutes and change in. Tempted to do fake flipper up to Zora, uh huh. Uh, but we do not have Moon Pearl, so we can't do Water Walk. Piece of candy, unless we get Moon Pearl here. Another piece of candy? My goodness. Another piece of candy? Wow! And a piece of big ol' heart container. There's a sand card. Holy shit! Wow. Two full heart containers in there by way of four pieces of candy and a heart container. 
What a lovely mini Moldorm cave that was. Ha ha ha. Ho ho. Excuse me. Birds, please. F off, bird. Out for blood. Alright, well, considering we don't have flippers or moon pearl, I think we'll skip the fake flipper for now and maybe do full on escape. Or, I guess we could try one thing before we dismiss Zora kind of out of hand here. We could try one thing, and I'm not sure if it'll work. And I'm not even sure how to do it, per se, but we'll give it one go, and if it doesn't work, we'll just fuck off. Ah, oh, piece of candy there. Hey, Omega Boyfin, how you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> Jerk bird working a second job. All birds are jerks, man. Come on. All right, so I think if we do... I'm not sure what that does. Now I think we need to do fake flipper without getting hit. Or maybe it's this one here? I'm not even quite sure how this works, to be honest. Like, you just kind of do that, and then... I don't know. I don't know how this works, but... Supposedly there's a way to do a water walk glitch off of one of those platforms. I'm gonna try it. Uh... Might be a good lineup there. Wow, first try. Maybe not. Maybe not. You know what? Fine. We'll do... We'll fake flipper to hobo. Check what's on the island there. Ooh, quake on the island. Hopefully we won't need that. Then I think we're gonna do uh, front side escape and hit Sahash. And do the rest of the business elsewhere here. Oh, don't snipe. <laughs> what a shit. Alright, hobo. What you got for us today? A single ass roof. No wonder you're living under a bridge. What a shit. Alright, well, well, actually, we don't need to do just front side escape. We can do, like, full escape. The full Monty, because we've got a sword and uh, and the lamp. Don't need to bother with nothing else. Ouch. Excuse me. Plus, we've already got the key, so technically we could do it from either side. I'm not quite sure which way would be faster, come to think of it. Maybe it would be faster to S&Q out and go from the back side for the dark chest. That way we're not dicking about with going through the entirety of walking back up and walking back and going through the sewers and all that kind of horse shit. Busy bams! Not what we're looking for. So this will get us three items. Uh, backside plus dark chest is another four. Sahash is three more. Eastern is three. We could technically go up to Death Mountain if we wanted to. I don't really want to <laughs> because we can only do kind of the front half of it. Ah, fucker. Ow, stop it. Oh, there's the arrow of destiny. What a bro. The run is valid now. <laughs> Actually, no, that's not true. We gotta open validation chest yet. Then the run will be valid. We don't even need to set up the death warp here, because we're just gonna S&Q out anyways. Ba -da -da -ba. All right, last chance for something good. Oh, hey, that's pretty fucking fantastic, actually. Dungeon chest pulling through with the Cane of Samaria. Incredible. All right, so we got four more here. We can do the backside of escape plus the dark chest. Ouchies. That bomb there. Who goes around putting bombs under bushes? Come on, man. Think about the random adventurer just walking by. 
How are they gonna feel about that? All right, three here. What do we got? What should we got? One of these is gonna be a burrito. Hey, look at that. First one out the gate. Big old 20 and 10 arrows. Okay. Not super fantastic. I think after this we head on over to Sahash, see what he's got in the back room. Another ten arrows. Boo! What a waste. But at least we got it out of the way. Super early. So Sahash, we could go to the desert, check out Agna. Or head up the mountain. Mountain is probably the better play. Although, we do have the money for Zora. And it, they gave us the money super early, so... Probably trying to tell us something. RNG is trying to speak with us. Trying to tell us the good things to do. And I don't know if I trust it. Find out where the green pendant is right away. Skull Woods. Ooh. Interesting. What an interesting place for a green pendant. That sucks, though, because Skull Woods is short. Powder, 50 roops, and a piece of candy. Alright, so what do we do? Do we go eastern? I think we go eastern. So we're over here already. Plus it's three items. At least two of which we are guaranteed to get. Without the bow, not able to complete this. However, we still leave this open, assuming pod will be a crystal. Do the pod eastern double ba double play back to back that I'm very fond of doing. Hey Sam, how you doing? Good to see you. Is that tournament still going on? My goodness. They had how many people did they have for that? This is like a hundred some people, right? That's crazy. That's crazy and awesome. I've been kind of very slowly watching them as they put them up on YouTube. Big old key right away. Not even at all. They're still in the Swiss rounds. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My goodness. That is uh, going to be going for a while yet then. One day. One day maybe I will be a non-lazy dumb butt and get in on one of those, but that day will not be today. And that year will probably not be this year. But hey, something maybe on the horizon. Burrito. Fucking shit. So I'm not quite 100% on this room yet, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it anyways. Oh, nice! There we go, we got it. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, the silvers! Oh, shit! Eastern with value. Now we just need a bow to use it. Ooh, ice rod at buck 48, huh? Ooh. Oh, shit, the bow! Vanilla bow! Oh, Eastern! With the fucking value! Oh, shit! I thought this was a randomizer. What's the bow doing in Vanilla Spot? What's it doing? Well, guess what? We are fucking completing Eastern while we're here. Let's F this noise. Holy shit, Ice Rod at buck 48 and they finished at buck 54? Jesus. What a play. I'm guessing it was a pretty early uh, G Tower big key then. 
My goodness. Like, that must have been a phenomenally early G Tower Big Key for that time. Ah, compass, dang it. Alright, well, we know, uh, good old Armos have got the last item. Second chest on the right, okay. Well, I'm guessing whoever won then went right first then. Ah, bootless. Bootless sucks ass. I hate that so much. But hey, sometimes, sometimes it's just a necessary evil. Did they at least have the flute? I hope. Because bootless flutless is no good and feels very bad, man. Oh man, that's almost worse than no flute. Alright, Armos, ready to get your shit kicked in here? Oh, almost sniped. Eat shit, Armos. Ah, oh, the Moon Pearl! Ah, oh, the value! <laughs> Eastern, definitely the value play today. Oof. That is something. First crystal at 21. I can deal with that. And since now, we've got the Moon Pearl, let's go take care of that water walk. Boy, alright, we are missing just one item now for Dark World access. Either the hammer or. The second glove. Good old Titan's Mitts. Looking for either of those to get us to Dark World. But for now, we have got a ripoff fish to go visit. Ouch. Birds! Out my fucking way, you shitbag. Oh, Powderless isn't so bad. Ah, shit. Come on. Yeah. yeah, first try. <laughs> Alright, so we can get the two at the Waterfall Wishing now. We can get Zora, and hopefully nothing good is on Zora Ledge, because I do not want to go back up there when I get flippers. Oh, hell yeah, another sword and a bottle with some red goo. Gives us our first bottle. So Sick Kid is now on the table. Oh shit, whoops, I didn't want to get rid of water, water walk in there. All right, good, just a piece of candy on the ledge. We okay with that? I guess maybe it's for the best that we lost water walk just so we don't fuck up and Take a dumb death. All right, King Ripoff. No matter what you give us, we're gonna have a nice amount of money left. Oh shit! Oh shit, there's the hammer. That is Dark World access immediately, so where do we go? I think we going we going straight to Dark World. Wow, we are getting some heckin' good value here. Cannot believe this. All right. Well, the unfortunate kind of outcome of this is that we already know that Skullwoods is green pendant, which sucks because it's a real short level, real short done. I'd prefer the uh, pendants be on the super long-ass dungeons, but hey, what are you gonna do? Unfortunately, we gotta take the long way around to get to the portal because no Titans minutes, but eh, whatever. Our worst. Oh wait, let's uh, check Sick Kid while we're here. 
walking right on by. Now, if Sick Kid has flute or something, that'd be real nice. Although, technically, this is a sequence break since we did not have flippers. But we'll see. Ah, uh, nothing but a fiber. Okay, we're back in line. Nothing of value was gained. Oh, we've got enough for Batman, too. That's right, because we've got uh, hammer and powder. All right, well, while we're here, when in Rome, when in Hyrule, I guess. Hmm, real early Batman, 25 minutes in. Oh, Ether. Hey, Interessante. That gives us knowledge of two of the three medallions. Quake is on Lake Hylia Island. So depending on where the other two pendants are, Ether might be very, very important. Or it could just be trash. Like it normally is, but hey. Whatever. Ain't gonna begrudge getting a potential progressive item. Progression item, excuse me, not progressive. And 26 minutes in. So given that Skullwoods is green pendant, we don't have Fire Rod yet. I think we're going to skip it for now. Even though Skullwoods does tend to have good value in it. Despite having only uh, two items. Usually a pretty good chance of something good being in one of those two. But here we are, Dark World, 26 and a half minutes. Kind of ridiculous. Just a little bit on the ridiculous side. What a piece of candy at chess game. Fucking vanilla. About Sea House. Good old Sea House. Never forget Sea House. Ah, ten arrows. Boo! Boo. Ooh, having hammer means we can uh, close out Thieves Town. Even if there's an item in Big Chest. Oops, that's way too far. A busted old shack. Big old 20. How fucking worthless. What we got for the rest of these, though? Crystal? Okay. Ice and Meyer Pendants. That's that's okay. That's okay. Uh, where's the other five? Six are at Thieves Town. Interesting. Normal ass crystals everywhere else. Okay. Not a bad distribution of pendants. Would have kind of preferred uh, T Rock having green or something, but that's all right. That's all right. but trash so far. Big key, my goodness. All right, well... If this is the burrito, I'm gonna be un unhappy. 
Ah, well, big old 20. I'm kind of unhappy at that, too. <laughs> but, it was one of the four, so whatever. Ooh, early powder means good safety. Considering the number of anti-fairies in the back half here. In all of my time in playing this game as a wee babby, I never knew the little skulls with the rotating fireballs were called anti-fairies. Didn't know they had an official name like that. Hearts for blind is passable, especially with blue mail. Even though the fireballs always do one heart of damage regardless of what you're wearing. But it'll reduce the uh, impact damage if we decide to get up close and personal. Another big old 20, ugh. So we're looking at a 1 in 3 chance of the burrito being in big chest. But I think we're going to have to check it regardless. Ouch. Because... Well, yeah. Because there's two items left and, well... Blind will be the last thing that we do here. Okay, makes me feel a bit better about things. Ah, fucking mess of an item menu so far. Alright, was it worth it? Ah, the burrito. Oh, fuck you. Come on, man. Blind is carrying the last item. That's all right. It should be a, a fairly easy fight. Nine hearts. We got Samaria just in case we need to do some coward strats. But I think we should be pretty good. I already got that heart. Dang it. All right, no props. Good, good, good. A good start. Ah, fuck. No! Damn it. Stop with the fireballs! Good shit. So we do have that red potion too, just in case things get real hairy. But that will not be necessary. So eat shit blind. The hook shot! Oh my goodness. That is some value if I've ever seen it. And that's crystal number two. And, and that's the second five sixer. My goodness, what a seed. What a fucking seed this is turning out to be, just immediately. Well, we have now have Light World Death Mountain completely open to us. So really, what we should be doing is going up there at our earliest convenience. But, we are also 100% set to go for Pod. Which may be our next play anyways. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do kind of the uh, southern sweep of Dark World here. Grab this money, actually, just in case. Uh, Bloomerang, don't really care for it. Thank you. 
We're gonna make the southern sweep of Dark World here. We're gonna hit Hype Cave, we're gonna hit Double Chested Fairy and Pyramid, and then hit straight into Pod for Crystal 3. We'll probably have Crystal 3 even before the hour is up, which is kinda ridiculous. Given the way that I play. Uh, ten old bombs from Stumpy. Thanks, bro, I guess. What was he gonna do with them? So we get to at least check Hype Cave before we go to the north. And see if it, it is properly hype, or if it's a big old dang liar and not hype at all. Here we go. Five possibilitas. Big old 20. Alright, not a great start. <laughs> Another big 20. God damn it. Oh, the Titan's Mitts! And a heart container and a fiber. Alright. Sufficiently hype. Sufficiently fucking hype. That opens up the rest of Death Mountain. Dark side included. My goodness. What a route. What a route we're taking here. Hmm. So let's see. Let's see. We need to do Swamp yet. And we need T-Rock. So we're going to need both Rods, Flippers, and Mirror. But that very well might be the only four items keeping us from go mode at this point. We've got silvers already, which is fucking fly. I would like another sword. Like tempered, but we could do spin strats Ganon if we really needed to. I don't enjoy doing it that way, but we could. Got on just pyramid normal style here, a big old 20. Pshaw. Double chested fairy, bomb cap, and three hundo. Alright, well, we're good for money. We already were good for money, but now we're double good for money. Alright, to pod we go, I think. That'll be crystal number three. And bust a move on up to the mountain. And then take care of Hera, which will be crystal number four. So we are looking pretty good on the progression here so far. I'm digging it. Digging it a whole bunch. No boots, no mirror means this is going to be a relatively slow pod. Doesn't make me happy, but... That's all right. That's all right. We'll have to change up our route a little bit. I like having boots because we can do the whole bounce back thing on the right. But that's all right. We'll, we'll make do without. No mirror, so no quick pop back to the beginning once we get this first item. Which doesn't necessarily have to be a small key. But it usually is. Yep, alright. Thank you. 
I also discovered there's a crazy way to get through this room without having the bow. Involves popping a bottle like halfway through the previous room. Which we could have tried to do, come to think of it, but I mean we've already got the bow, so what does it matter? This is probably another small key. Hey, look at that! Keys for days. So, I'm just gonna do it like this. Normally, I'd probably go to the back half right away, but since we've already kind of got shit set up this way. Over under on this being vanilla big key. That actually wouldn't be a bad idea right now. Ha! Huh! Never mind. That's even better. The boots. What the hell are those? Small key to cure what ails you. All right. All right. That's that's okay right there. That is okay. see that pretty early before we get to back half even I can try the bomb jump here can we try the bomb jump uh, I don't know that that's gonna work <laughs> I have no idea what the lineup is for it I just wanted to give it a go <laughs> uh, just for grins just for grins Please. Fire hot. Gold 20. I'll pass. Another big old 20. Jeez. It's been either fantastic items or uh, shitty items. No middle ground so far. These other two are. There's another small key down here. We're gonna have to take a harmless hell hallway on out. And there's the burrito. And the other small key. Dang it. Telmasaur will have one, and then this other hallway will have the other. The remaining items. Two left. It's candy. Yeah, good for a refill. All right, whatever. Now we can do the bounce back, save ourselves some time. Excuse me. Pretty good pace here. <clears throat> Maybe not PB level pace. And I almost don't even want to say it to ruin our chances at this, but probably on a pretty good sub 2 pace. Probably. Let's 
assuming we don't get dicked about by, like, the Ice Rod or something. Ice and Fire Rod are probably going to be the most elusive at this point. Or mirror. Mirror can be pretty finicky to find as well. But probably less so since it's locking us out of uh, Swamp at this point, along with the... Uh, I lost count of how many we hit here. Uh, along with Flippers, it's locking us out of Swamp. Yep. And eat shit Helmsor. <laughs> Alright. What do we got? What's the last one? Last item. Something good or something shitty? Something shitty. But, that's crystal number three. So we're on pretty good pace so far. <clears throat> At least when compared against the averages. Hmm, okay, so I think next play is probably mountain. That'll get us a number of items, plus another crystal. It's rad as fuck. Let's see, how many how many is that gonna give us? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus Hera is twelve. Yeah, probably twelve. <clears throat> well, twelve just on light side. Oh, baby's first shield. You know what? That's that's all right. That's an okay find. Even though shields are pretty useless until you at least get a fire shield. Get the f out of my face. This baby's first shield really doesn't block a whole hell of a lot. Just arrows and rocks, I want to say. Big ol' 20 at Bonk Rocks. What a fucking waste. Oops. Ow. Oi, back off. Stupid bird. caves I could have done in the dark, but no need to worry about that with early lamp. And a big three hundo from the old man. Jesus. Retired rich up to the mountain. wondering what the best route for this would be. Since we don't have mirror, we can't take this route up to the top, but at least check these items. We got up top nothing but a 50. Top of spec rock, and inside we've got a piece of candy. Alright, that's fine. That's fine and good. I think we do light side first, Hera, and then come back and do dark side. Then we can do spiral cave, super bunny, uh, hookshot chests, and then maybe we might be able to do red mail. Nice. We might be able to do uh, spike cave on our way through, even though it says we don't have the gear for it. Brian, 
Kane O'Brien, some Visited Bams. Well, now we've got the gear for Spike Cave. <laughs> Another heart container, the book, and a big old 20. So we found us some literacy. Which is actually perfect timing uh, for Ether Tablet. I think we'll leave Spiral Cave for now, we'll come back. We've got Hera to take care of. Book also gets us into Desert. Which is another crystal, I believe, right? Yep. That'll round out the Light World Dungeons. Just attempted to go down there sooner rather than later to get ourselves another fine piece of glass. Really all the crystals are, right? <laughs> Ether tab with the value or with bullshit? With bullshit. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Into Hera. Only two items here. One of which is a big old 20, so fuck that. Ah, big key in the basement. Bullshit. <sighs> Wasted about 30 seconds on a tile room. Uh, I hope that's not the soft lock. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll find out soon. Or we could find out now and redo this. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, I had a minor heart attack thinking that I didn't have a source of fire. But, lamp will pull through. Big key. Good old vanilla big key. some slow walkthroughs on the dungeons. Just the fact that we just can't mirror back and call it done. And since we've got both hookshot and boots, we don't need to do the dumb bomb jump over the big chest. Bomb jump that I fail nine times out of ten. Bomb jump that we don't are the chest that we don't even need to worry about because that's item number dose. Excellent. Now all we need to worry oops, uh right there should do it. There we go. All we need to really worry about now is stupid moldorm. Fucking get away from the ledge. You little bastard. Easy. See you in hell, Moldorm. It won't be long. That will be crystal number four. Excellent. Fucking excellent. Okay, so we've got the rest of Eastside Death Mountain, Dark Side, plus Spike Cave. Lots of items yet, and then we can go to Desert. Oh wait, what's on the island? Do we care? It's the red meringue. Mind? 
We do not care. We, in fact, do not care. Oh, what? Wow, that's one hell of a hitbox. That's like two miles from him. Spiral Cave, the big old 20, coming through for us. What a bro. Okay, Dark Side, Death Mountain, we can take care of everything in the Hookshot Cave since we have the Hookshots. Oh wait, that was the wrong side, dang it. I mixed, I mixed it up. Let's forget if it's left or right in Dark World. Super Bunny Cave, first two here. Ice Rod, heck yes, not searching for that. And a piece of candy, all right. Super Bunny with the value. All right, let's check T-Rock real quick. We could get locked out by a, a medallion we don't have. No, nope, ether, excellent. So, assuming that we don't need to go into Mire for any reason whatsoever, we are good on medallions. And the Fire Rod! Oh shit! Okay, the rods are not playing hide and seek with us today. Oops, I forgot to grab that one up there. Oh, uh, I might have, could I have gotten back? Eh, it doesn't matter. Big old 20. Dang it. All right. So that is Hookshot Cave. Providing us the good things. We could actually do T-Rock right now if we cared to. But I do not care to. So, whatever. Excuse me. Even though it does have a lot of items. No. Not doing it. Not doing it. I thought about it. Thought about it real hard, but not doing it. So then, with failing that, I think our next play is Desert. Get us crystal number five. And that leaves T-Rock and Swamp. Hmm. Think of a good route to kind of pull in the rest of those Dark World chests without being super stupid about it. I think after desert, then we head back to Dark World, to see what we can see. Take care of Blacksmith and Egg Cave. So now, all we're missing for Go Mode is Mirror and Flippers. Another bottle ain't gonna hurt me none. Thank you, Agana, I guess. Even came with some blue goo. <laughs> oh, okay. We got on the ledge. The other single roof. Well, won't be going for that.
candy on the torch. Don't care. So this will either be big or small key. Eh? Small key, of course. A little bit more run around. There's the other. There's the other item for actually a pretty good refill. So that means this will be big key, and we don't need to faff about anything else. All right. We'll take that. It'll be a pretty quick desert. I just have this bad feeling that Skull Woods is going to have something of value, so maybe we should skedaddle on up there at our earliest convenience. It's a quick two-item check, plus, I guess, green pendant, so... Probably not the worst idea in the world to go for it. Ouch. Excuse me. Silvers this time around, huh? Uh, uh, no! Dang it. it! Took too long to do the lineup. Oh well. Clean two cycle. Suck shit, Landmo. There's crystal number five. Excellent. Looking real good so far. The only thing that's concerning me are those two missing items. Guess it might be faster to S&Q out to Sanctuary to get back to Village, huh? If we want to hit the Dark World, I think I'm probably going to go hit up, uh, hit up Skull Woods. It's possibly three items up there. I don't think we can take the, uh, the frog in the Skull Woods, though, can we? I don't think so. Otherwise, I'd probably go grab him first. Take care of the rest. But, that's alright. Kind of breaking my own rule here, saying that if there's a crystal dungeon I can complete, I should really go do it. But, since that dungeon is T-Rock, I really don't want to do that... <laughs> until the very last one. And if we can go mode it, that'd be all the better. Big old 20, so there's one of them. One of the items that uh, I'm really wanting to see, but hey, whatever. Early big key, interesting. That's actually good, that's good. We can get big chest immediately. And I'm almost hoping that Mothula has the last item, so go get that and the green pendant at the same time. Not really have to worry about much else.
or I guess the question is if this is the second item. If it's not, would we bother with the back half? But it looks like we're gonna do that anyways, so whatever. see, but there could be worse. I would do a quick uh, MSP check up here, but we don't have the mirror. Unfortunate. Unless the last item turns out to be the mirror, in which case it was a fantastically, phenomenally good idea for us to come up here. Maybe I should have gone for Mothula first. Ah well. Too late. Committed. Ah, yeah, burrito, of course. So, I mean, I guess I kind of got my wish. Whereby Mothula has the final item. dealing with these Gibdos. Oh, that kills him straight out. I thought that would only freeze him. Huh. Well, you'll learn something new every day. Don't you? Okay, so we're gonna have about half magic and Master Sword from Mothula. Not the most ideal of situations, but we've got enough to, else to deal with here. Mothula, what you got for the last item? Our container, okay. And yeah, we got a pendant to show for it, too. Meh. Could have been better, could have been worse. Alright, so Skullwoods may or may not have been the correct play, depending on what Sahash has for us. That's I. But we should probably check Bumper Cave anyways, just because... Nothing but an empty-ass bottle. Not even filled with anything. Fucking worthless.
Okay, so... Unfortunately, we're gonna have to do the whole S and Q dance here since we don't have the mirror. That's all right. Oh, hello there. Hello there, my beauty. Tempered sword. Okay. Definitely worth the sidetrack there. All right, so no spin strats Ganon. We got our wish, sort of. Mm, it's looking more and more like T-Rock is probably the right play instead of going to Skullwoods. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. But I guess the kind of the upshot of this is that it keeps us out of a lot of other areas, not having the shit for swamp. Not having the flippers keeps us out of ice. Not having the flute keeps us out of mire. Okay. Uh, let's see, what are we doing here? Let's go grab the purple chest first. Not even Clippers keeps us out of ice as well. Did I say that? I think I said that already. Just said that. <laughs> oh well. So, it's, it's really for the best at this point that we're not finding either of those. I think of anything that I'd like to find right now would be the mirror. The mirror first would be great. And then the Flippers afterwards. Because, the well... I guess either one really opens up a lot. A lot of dumb one-off uh, overworld locations. Which are not friendly for the whole speedrun aspect of this. But considering I'm doing the one-offs right now, I guess, why am I complaining about it? distance to cover for a heart container. Alright, here's our, well, besides catfish, I suppose, here's our last, last one that we can check, is the Green Pendant Depository, aka Sahashrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrushrush
Rocky Rock is a crystal dungeon we can complete. I'll get us crystal number six. Which is probably what I should have done from the very beginning. Just kept to the strat of completing every crystal dungeon possible. So as loath as I am to do T-Rock is not the last dungeon, here we are. And even, even worse than that is it's a, a non-go mode T-Rock too, so hooray, full clear! Days, I guess. Whoa, nice Sick dodge. So, even though we probably could have. Skip now that center chest. Probably can't no more since we're doing a full clear anyways. Ouch. Excuse me, fuckos. Oh, there's the flippers. Okay, well, that opens up ice, which is unfortunate in its own right, but we do still have... Four items left to go in T-Rock. So, if we get the mirror up here, that would be nice, too. That would be real good. That would put us into go mode, and we can say, Fuck off, Ice. Because, honestly, nobody likes Ice. Nobody likes Ice Palace. It's the dumbest. Uh, actually, considering where we're at with keys and such, we can skip that middle one, right? I think. Can we? Let's think about this for a second. Yeah, I think we can. So I think it'd, it'd just be another small key. Or no. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna go back again. No, I bet, I bet that's not right. I bet that is incorrect. I mean, it could very well be a small key, but it's not guaranteed to be one, so... We kinda gotta go for it anyways. Second guess myself. That's alright. Of all the things to second guess yourself on, that's one of the less expensive of them all. because we don't have the mirror. That's right. Okay. That's good or bad news, I suppose. Oh, no. No, that's good news. Nothing good can be in Mimic Cave. So 
I need the mirror to get to it, and the mirror is the last thing we need for Gomo. So, fuck it. So, fuck it. Go. Be careful with our magic usage here. So you do not have half magic. Visity vans. Okay, so it's gonna be three items and a small key somewhere. Oops, shit. Fucked up. I do have that blue potion as well, just in case. Oh! <laughs> There's the small key that we need. Ouch. There's the mirror! Oh, fucking go mode! Go mode achievoed. Excellent. Fuck it, we are out. We are out of here 100%. Oh man, that makes me feel real good. Okay. Okay. Suddenly I like this a lot more. <laughs> so T-Rock was definitely the play. Oh man. I thought about it. And I didn't do it. Oh, we could have had Gomo so much earlier. Like 15, we could have saved 15 minutes probably by not being a dummy. Five with temper drink, yeah, nice. And four for ice side, which is weird. I think it really matters. Oh, one more, Never mind. Okay, well, at least we can go mode swamp. That's fucking great. Fucking great to be able to go mode swamp. We don't need a big key, we can just go straight to straight to Argus. Oh man, now I'm kind of annoyed actually. Because if we had gone straight to T Rock and gone to go mode like 15 minutes ago, this would have been a really solid chance for a PB, but. Not looking like it anymore, unfortunately. Well, I don't know. I'm actually kind of curious as to, because PB I think right now is buck 37. So we have 13 minutes to go mode swamp and G tower. I don't know, even with that, even if those were perfect, I don't know that we'd have enough, have enough time to get a buck 37. But hey, at least this is looking like a real solid, uh, real solid sub too, which is really all I'm looking for. Or at least something below our average of 207. So that's fine, that's fine and good at least. As I'd like to get Butter Sword, we're not going to go out of our way for it. Fortunately, that would speed up the game fight a little bit, but let's save more time by not looking for it. Oh shit, I forgot to mark Crystal Six. Derp. No, that's what's going to be fucked. 
Oh well. I got so excited about go mode, forgot to do everything. so good. <laughs> it, it's the best. Just fucking we'll skip everything. Check this one since we're just on our way through and it's literally like two seconds. Ah, of course it's gotta be something dumb. Like the compass. Now, if Argus wants to be real friendly to us and drop a butter sword or something, I wouldn't complain about that. That was perfect right in his eyeball, but he's fucking invulnerable for it. Ah, the bug net. You know, a little bit of safety, I guess. There's Crystal 7. Suck my nuts, Argus. Alright, Buck 29 going up to uh, Death Mountain now. Um, this is a real... It's a real thing that we gotta do now, huh? Yeah, this isn't gonna be PB. Unless G Tower Big Key is literally first item, I don't think this is gonna be PB. It'll be a real nice, like, buck 42, buck 43, maybe? I can get down with that. But no PB to be had tonight. That squirrels get the fuck out of the way. Blocking both of the rocks I could have hooked onto. shot in there. What the fuck? Alright, well, place your bets. 1 through 22. What's the item number that's going to be the big key? Ganon's Tower. What are, we, what are we thinking tonight? Is it going to be kind? Or is it going to be the douchiest ever? Like, considering how the rest of the seed is gone, it's probably going to get in one last jab. Be like, hey... Y'all was pretty kind to you the entire night. Take this number 22 big key and go fuck yourself. 
<laughs> That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. Although we did have a number 22 uh, a couple weeks ago, so... Might take a little bit of time for that to come back to us. Nice, good lineup there. Alright, here comes one and two. Big old 20. Small ass key, which is okay on, in its own right, really. Small ass key on the torch. It's number three. Here's four through seven. Four is a hard container, that's okay. Fifty roots, number five. You just fucking die, you skeleton bitch. Or six! Oh, six is the big key, huh? Wow, and the mushroom. Number six, that's pretty fucking good. We'll take that. Could have gone straight up left side, would have been okay with it. Could have turned into number four. Get the f ah, Are you serious? That fairy's fucking me over. Get out of here. Come on, man. Good run. Good run there. Took a hit, but de boosted over to the ladder, so whatever. Not a bad gauntlet. Not the best gauntlet, but not terrible. Uh, let's go arrows on this again. Ah, I fucked it up. Fucking up my, my aim everywhere here. Yeah, gar. Oh, god damn it! Stupid landmo. Ah. get the super cool guy strat, so we just managed the double cool guy strat. Uh, God damn it. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna have enough time for this now. We'll try it. Should be alright. Yeah. 
it makes me a little nervous if I miss that first one. Oh, what the fuck? Wow, you never fall down there. Should work me. Tried to get higher to get around that bubble and I ended up fucking it over. All right, so kind of our last saving grace here for Butter Sword is gonna be Validation Chest. Long may it rain, but I guess we'll see. Of candy. Not even good for a refill. Ah, well. It'll be fine. Be a good enough lineup. There we go. Very good, very good. Alright, Jerk Wizard. What you got for us today? That's yeah, okay. It's an okay pattern, yes. Ah, dang, I think that still counted for two, though. Oh, that's beautiful right there. Oh, and I missed them all! What the hell? Come on. <laughs> so dumb. Ah, blue ball there. It's such a silly. Oh, shit. Could have had the triple to finish, but... That's all right. What was that? Five cycle? Not bad. Not bad for me. Fuck you, Jerk Wizard the second. All right. Well, if we play this real cool, we could probably sink a buck 40 here, but considering we've only got tempered, that might be a, a bit of a stretch. Tempered without half magic, but we do have a red and a blue potion in reserve, just in case things get super hairy. This will be something. Take a dumb death here and use the red potion when needed. Like now. I don't know if that's enough for phase three, is it? Dang it. That should probably be enough for phase three. <laughs> but just in case, we'll get one more in there. No? Aw, oh, you fucko. That was silly. Alright, that'll be enough for phase three. Need an arrow just for good measure. <laughs> oh, easy. Come on, you coward. Well, definitely not a buck forty anymore. Come on, you fucko! Ugh. I did find the arrows in Eastern Palace, you shit. Ah, and I miss. I'm gonna miss the torch glitch too. Oh, you ass. Nice double, though. Shit. Oh, nice. Uh, is that going to be enough to freeze him, though? No. Nope. Yeah, I'm out of magic, but luckily we got that. Ah, I fucked it up. That's right. Nice. The double double. All right. Should keep us below a buck 41, I think, though.
Nice. Buck 40, 49. That's pretty gosh dang good. Pretty gosh dang good. All right, let's see. It's 8.45. I don't know if I want to do a second one tonight. I wasn't feeling it at the very start, but... Now, since we had such a good seed at first... Let's see, how does that compare against uh, PB? Not terrible. Definitely lost... Lost all the time on the play to Skull Woods and Overworld instead of going into T-Rock. It could have been like 15 minutes better. So this could have been a sub-130, but I threw it away. Not bad. Not bad regardless, though. Not terrible. Let's see. I think we will do a second one. Yeah, let's do a second one. If it starts going south in a big hurry, we might just not finish it, but we'll at least give it a give it a go. Be right back though. I'm gonna go top off. Heard it's roll, we'll get top down. Magic Cape on MSP, huh? That's alright. Didn't need it. Did not need it. Alright, let's get to the important stuff here. Prepare to fast forward.
else there? So, a lot of early good shit. That's what I remember. Silvers and Bow were both in Eastern. First Sword was pretty good. Peg boots were kind of eh. No Flute at all, and Mirror was super late. Got, I think, First Sword at 8 minutes or something like that. Big Key was number 6, which is fucking fantastic. No Deaths is really good for me. Really fucking good for me. There we go, buck 40, 49. Not terrible. 